Uh, excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit. It's English. <laughs> Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right! Go, go, go! Go your way! And believe in yourself! Oh, all right. Thank you. You are welcome! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Barra Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! Fifty? For real? That's crazy! I have, like, none. You gotta change that, man! Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know! Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't well, you? Well, when you put it that way... Great! Then let's get you signed up... Uh, well... Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trip. Yeah, and of course, I was the one who invited him. So that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay. Well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time. So don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. And just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and- You got it. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial? Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. 
Which exam would you like to take? This one? Good luck! That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you've made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out. That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit. Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. Gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on your senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san, welcome to the start of your future. Can I help you? We have new certifications available. I'm sorry.
sorry, but you're a little short. Fine by me. Hmm? For real? Fine by me.
Strategy.
Hey, boss. We're back. It got pretty crazy back there. But you know what?
Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She guess she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah, she looks great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron! Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. All right, so is Saiko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez. He owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah. He may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime land are probably going to shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. And I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> what, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? 
That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... Pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? What? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like... Uh, well, it's a bum, an ex-Yakuza, and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey, what what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to you! Loma!
That was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Laoma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. What, you mean he was scared? Uh, not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? He pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh yeah, he takes care of them. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep, and milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it too. But don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <sighs> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together, and it almost worked. <sighs> but after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home, even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did, not even once. I mean, I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone, but I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. 
because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me, even Nonomiya. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, crass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... That nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <sighs> I can't do anything. Not by myself. But before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three risked so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi-san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Sup? Yeah. Hey. Uh. Mm. 
Right. You're in it now. Try this on his side. Right. Okay. I'm not back. I'm not back. Get serious. Let's go! Okay. You're in it now. Take your fucking shot. I'm not that bad. Take to no order. Get serious. Come on now. You're gonna get right. Yeah. 
Watch this! I'm up! You're so Going in! Weak!
Okay. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Take Take this. Let's go! go. Jake. 
not back. Let's go! Right.
Good shape. Hit it for the long haul. 